I think up to that point, everything had been a whirlwind from 68 when they formed to 71. And it was the first time I think they all took stock. And that's why the album comes out in a very measured way. I think the sound that Page wanted quickly you know, became apparent. He, he wanted a vast, expansive sound, which that album has got. And again, it was down to him as a studio craftsman, which he is. He knows the sound he wants to hear. They took it out of the studio because I think they felt that the studio compressed them a little. I think, you know, within four walls um, of a studio, there was only so much they could do. I think Flew and Matt were the first people to go into Headley Grange. But it set a precedent, really. But I think the reason it worked so well was because they were able to spend a whole week, you know, literally ensconced in the place. But it wasn't all about recording. You know, it wasn't, there's the studio time, two till four. It was, we'll go in when we want to go in. If we want to go in at seven, we'll do it. If you want to do it at two in the morning, we'll do it. And I think a lot of the music came out in a very relaxed way because of that lack of discipline. Well, Led Zeppelin was very much a live act. Let's face it, you know, they were one of the greatest live acts of all time. And I think every time they went into the studio or went to record an album, wherever it was, there was an edginess that was in them from playing live that they wanted to bring to the recording. 